to fight for Black Lives Matters. I intend to fight. If Black Lives Matter to her, why didn't I matter? I don't I don't agree what my Kamala Harris did to my mom. And I don't I don't agree with what she's done to other parents as well. My message to all Americans, especially black Americans, do not trust Kamala Harris. I'm so proud of you right now. Because you walked all the way down here and I wasn't expecting you to walk. My daughter, Shayla, suffers from sickle cell anemia, a chronic painful genetic disease. As a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. It's, it's a very sharp stabbing pain and it hurts a whole lot. Like from my chest all the way down, it hurts, including my side. So I decided I was gonna start prosecuting parents for truancy. When Kamala Harris was the California Attorney General, she had me arrested and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and have missed some days of school. <laughs> I spent a majority of my time here at the hospital. Ugh. Kamala's horrible policies hurt mothers like me and the black community. My name is Sheree Peoples and this is my story. I am a single mother. I've worked as a certified nursing assistant and a caregiver. My daughter Shayla was born in 2002. When she was born, she was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. And it affects all major organs in the body and also causes extreme pain. Her whole life, she has been on medications like morphine and Dilaudid to help her control the pain. In addition, she had to undergo blood transfusions every three weeks. My lifestyle became taking care of her almost full time. It is pretty typical for kids with Shayla disability to miss a lot of school. I just got out of school. I've done three full days this week. Oh, I'm so tired. And for years, the teachers were aware of her condition and her absences were all excused. California schools get their state and federal funding based off of average daily attendance. Schools are paid about $30 per student per day. In San Francisco, we threatened the parents of truants with prosecution. I first heard of Kamala Harris when she got elected California Attorney General. We are putting parents on notice. We are going to make sure that you face the full force and consequences of the law. She wrote a report saying truancy was costing California schools $1.4 billion a year in funding. Because of truancy, California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala then wrote a law making it criminal for parents if their kids miss school time. Kamala even wrote a book called Smart on Crime. You can read an excerpt from the book that she just plugged shamelessly. <laughs> it's called Smart on Crime. Talking about arresting parents for truancy. I sent a letter on, on my letterhead out to every parent in the public school system. In 2012, like all California parents, I received a threatening letter from Kamala Harris saying, we'll go to jail for a year if our kids even miss 10% of school days. It was like a crazy intimidation tactic. I'm going to start prosecuting parents for children's day. I thought, wow, this woman doesn't have any empathy. Is it because she's not a mother? I also thought, how could she not understand it would disproportionately affect people of color, single black mothers? But honestly, I didn't imagine it could affect me. Her teachers had her medical records from the children's hospital. I even had a 504 plan, which was an agreement between the school district and the parents to provide care for students with disabilities. It was April 18th, 2013, in the morning. I'm in my pajamas. I had just fed my daughter, gave her her medications, sent her off to school. Little did I know, there was a warrant out for my arrest. All of a sudden, the police is outside my house and they started banging on the door. I opened up my door and two officers entered my home. They told me I was under arrest for my child missing school. They said I was going to jail. I was shocked. I said, 
but my baby is sick. The school knows that. And they said, go talk to Kamala Harris. Place your hands behind your back. My mom did nothing wrong. We did everything we were supposed to. I was always bringing doctor's notes, always calling the school to let them know that I was in the hospital. Then they handcuffed me. So they take me outside for what you call a perp walk. And oh my God, the TV news was there. The newspapers were there. You could swear I had killed somebody. It was degrading and humiliating. I was taken to the criminal justice center. They took my mud shot. I was fingerprinted like a criminal, and I was terrified. And it felt like I caused her so much pain because in reality, it is because of me, even though I know it's not directly my fault. Sorry. The next day, the Orange County Registered showed the pictures of my arrest. They even had a close-up picture of my hands in handcuffs to show here's a black mother being arrested. It was a truancy rate at over two and a half times that of white students. Everyone knew most truant kids were black. I think Kamala Harris wanted me as an example to threaten other single black mothers, like this can happen to you if you don't get your kids in class. The police even put out a press release naming me and other black single mothers like Toyo Daniels who got arrested the same day. But my hell was just beginning. They gave me two charges. Failure to supervise and encourage school attendance and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. I couldn't believe it. They framed my daughter as a gang member and basically charged me with neglect. I spent the next two years in court fighting these charges. Kamala assigned her nastiest prosecutors to my case. My homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. <laughs> like 10 different prosecutors. They kept pressuring me to plead guilty and spend a year in jail, but I kept refusing because I did nothing wrong. All the time I had to spend going to court, I was struggling to care for my Shayla. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent, and we got evicted. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel and I ended up being in the hospital a lot during her trial. And in that hospital stay was when I had my stroke. I had a stroke about four or five days ago. And right now I'm doing pretty good. My hand is doing okay, I guess. In 2015, after two years, they finally just gave up and dismissed my case. In 2018, the Supreme Court of California ruled that truancy cannot be punished by incarceration. It was unconstitutional. The courts finally stopped Kamala Harris' abuses. When I look back, I ask why did Kamala Harris arrest me? Why was Kamala Harris so insensitive to a black woman with a handicapped child? Well, first, I learned that Kamala Harris has no common experience with black people. She grew up with an Indian mother. I remember she kept saying she was Indian. To become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. And I learned she grew up in Canada, not in the United States, and went to a wealthy high school. I think in Canada, she must not have been exposed to American values, which respects the rights of individuals. When Kamala Harris ran for president in 2019, they asked her about arresting people like me, and she just lied her ass off. The truancy program got, got a lot of criticism too. Did you actually yeah. lock anybody up? No, we never locked anybody up. We never sent a parent to jail. And no parent went to jail. And we did prosecute some cases. Uh, but far few, only about 20. It's ironic because Kamala helped raise money to bail out murderers, rioters, and thieves. But she thought I belonged in jail because I had a handicapped child. To me, Kamala is fake. She just repeats stupid things like unburdened. What can be 
unburdened by what has been, what can be, unburdened by what has been. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? I found out she only became attorney general because she was a mistress to the married San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown. Are you his daughter? No, I'm not. And today I see she tries appealing to black audiences by putting on fake urban accents. And we're gonna do it again in 2024. Black people are very down to earth. This is insulting to us. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Kamala, how stupid do you think we are? And I saw Kamala's Twitter photo. That's from like 20 years ago. She's 60 years old today. Even with the heavy makeup, you can see she's 60. I seen her pretending to be talking on the phone, avoiding the press. She's a terrible actress. She was calling young people stupid. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. With Kamala, we can't even say Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? The laugh is so insincere. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> we have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, I am radical. All this woke and radical stuff doesn't do anything for me as a single black mother. All it got me was inflation that hurt me and my kids. Grocery store prices are crazy. I can't pay for food on my income. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. Black people has been in America for 400 years, but Kamala pushes us to the back of the line behind illegals. Why? As borders are. She just filling up our schools with kids who don't speak English just so they can get more government money. Illegals get free health care, but I have to pay. They get free housing, and I'm struggling to pay rent. Our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit crime. <laughs> and it's more dangerous in our neighborhood. We don't need Venezuelan gains. To this day, at 22 years old, I suffer from full paralysis on my right arm and partial in my right leg. Kamala Harris owes me an apology and my daughter an apology for what she did to us. Let's be clear, my values have not changed. Look, I am not a political person, but I want people to know what Kamala Harris has did to me. If she do it to me, she will abuse anyone if you give her the power.